Hi, I'm Dr. DeCubles with Main Street Chiropractic. What I wanted to go over today is what I look for in an x-ray. So I think it's very important to take x-rays uh, with people that come in and they have issues to make sure that it's safe. A, that we can do the adjustment, but B, that we can do any kind of treatment. Because if you're not taking an, an x-ray, you really don't know what you're working on and you really aren't able to figure out what the problem is and what your goal is. So we always x-ray patients when we see that the need. Uh, and what I'm gonna show you here today just really goes to show you the reason why. Because if we would not have x-rayed this person, then we could have potentially done some damage. That's why you always make sure we x-ray the patients. Um, and I would advise getting an x-ray before you get any kind of adjustments, especially if you're having some neck or back pain. So this patient came in a couple days ago. She was having neck pain. All she did was reach down and pick up an empty box, no injury, no trauma, nothing like that, and started getting neck pain that radiated into her shoulder. Said she'd had some neck pain before, but nothing major. So we went through after the consultation and did a little bit more um, work with the exam with some um, range of motion tests, some orthopedic tests, um, and found out where the problem was. And I thought it was a good idea to take an x-ray. And it's a good thing I did. Let me go ahead and show you what we have here. So I'm gonna turn this on. Let me give it a second to kind of go ahead and readjust. Now the first thing I'm looking for here is we should see a normal curve. We do not have a normal curve here. Hers is going forward like this. Now that's not just a symptom, that's not the biggest thing we're finding out. But when you look down in this area here, we've got quite a large bone spur that's right here. That's osteoarthritis and that tells me that we've had an issue that's been going on for quite a number of years to get this bad. When we look at the disc space right here, this is much decreased compared to this one. So we've got degenerative disc disease that has now set in. So now we've got two segments that we've got arthritis and degeneration. This is now a chronic issue that's been going on for a while. And this is why just something innocuous like trying to pick up an empty box caused all this pain. Now when I look back here too, I'm looking at the back of the vertebra. If we look here, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the back of this one is back further than this one, which means this one has shifted forward. Now it's called a spondylolithesis. Now, that is actually a pretty major thing to find because when we have that, it means that the ligaments that surround the vertebra had to have been damaged or injured to allow this to happen. So now we've got a chronic condition, we've got arthritis, we've got disc degeneration, we've got a spondylo, and we also have ligament instability. So this is someone that, yes, um, it's gonna take quite a bit of a, a treatment to get better, but the good news is, is that we found this in time before it's permanent. The bone spurs haven't fused. There's still some disc space left. So this is something we can still work on. Now, are we gonna be able to get her back to 100% like if we would have saw her five, six years ago when this originally started? No, but we can definitely improve her quality of life, get to where she can actually move around because right now she's become pretty sedentary because it's just too much pain when she's turning her head um, and she can't lift too much things up because it causes radiating pain down her arms. So this is definitely gonna be something we can work on and it's a good idea that I took this x-ray. Otherwise, we would never would have found out the extent of this. So again, I'm Dr. DeCubles. Just wanna show you what we look for in the x-ray and why it's so important to take an x-ray before we do any kind of treatment.